Hi, as uh, Wi-Fi in 6 gigahertz, also popularly referred to as Wi-Fi 6E, um, gets to become a reality, I just thought we can get to know a few things which are likely to appear in products, okay? Uh, my name is uh, Shrikant and I am with Nanocell Networks. So remember that in 6 gigahertz, we have a green field spectrum where we are going to start with 11AX and several of the things which have been done to potentially increase efficiency of uh, WLANs could be introduced here. So I'm going to talk about a few of them here. One of them is Reduce Neighbor Report, RNR, which can be piggybacked in a variety of frames from the AP side. What do they help us with? These are helpful for discovering potentially, again, these are not new, but in the 6 gigahertz context, they might be enforced and they could be very helpful for discovering 6 gigahertz networks. Because remember, one of the inefficiencies in current wireless LAN operation can be the enormous number of probe requests and the consequent wastage of airtime. So RNR, which is already there in the standard but is not enforced by any certification mechanism, could come into play strongly as we try to use the 6 gigahertz spectrum more efficiently. So an AP uh, in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz where the station might first scan could inform about these 6 gigahertz networks need not be restricted to the same box in the case of RNR and there's a lot of flexibility in what information needs to be shared okay so watch out for this feature the next feature which is was originally intended for a different purposes, which was to cut down the beacons and to a certain extent probe responses sent as a part of the multiple virtual AP implementation. Again, can carry information about the six gigahertz present in a certain box. Here again, we limit the scanning in to 2.4 or five and very little scanning in six gigahertz. And using the multiple BSS ID feature, we can convey a lot of other BSS supported by this same box, okay? Again, remember, this is not only restricted to six gigahertz. For a long time, IEEE and WFA have been trying people to implement this, but in the existing 2.4 and five gigahertz with a lot of legacy clients, it has been a challenge getting this working. So here is one more feature which we could expect to see working successfully in meeting certain objectives in 6 gigahertz. FILS discovery frames. FILS stands for Fast Initial Link Setup. Comes from an IEEE standard called 802.11 AI. Originally, it was introduced to make sure that our initial entry into networks could be much faster, okay? And that includes transmitting a a beacon-like frame much more often than every 100 milliseconds or so, okay? And again, the intention of this FILS discovery frames, which are roughly, you know, agreed to come about 20 milliseconds apart, is to avoid the unnecessary probing. And the FILS discovery frames can also contain RNR information, okay? So this again, helps cut down the wastage on the air that we are likely to see um, or what we saw in 2.4 and 5 and hopefully make 6 gigahertz a lot cleaner. And the final one is the on-channel tunneling. This is very interesting because here a client and an AP or a BSS I should say which you know where the client is associated to that could tunnel some frames to another BSS, okay, which is mentioned by this particular AP in its RNR. So for example, while I'm associated, if I want to uh, maybe send a unicast probe request or an 802.11 authentication frame, all this can be done through my existing AP, okay? 
and similarly that AP can respond through this AP to tunnel certain management frames. So scanning, auth, association, these can be tunneled with your existing APs, let's say maybe in 2.4 and 5, to prepare yourself for very quick connection without overloading that spectrum with all these things. Again, this is not new to 6 gig, but we are hoping that this gets used there. So I hope these features, which are, I'm hopeful that they are likely to come more in 6 gigahertz products, will make 6 gigahertz a very different WLAN experience compared to our existing 2.4 and 5. So for more information, please take a look at our website. Uh, for 6E courses coming up soon, please look at Wi-Fi Now Global Academy and we will cover more of these topics in detail. Thank you.